spearheaded by Chinedu Makavari, the faction claims the Congress was characterized by confusion and that Kavekotora failed to secure 51% of the total votes cast as required by the party's constitution. 490 votes were cast and out of that, Mike Kavekotora received 243 votes, representing 49,5%. But Kavekotora argues that of the total votes cast, 14 ballots were spoiled, which should not be counted as votes cast and therefore should be deducted from the number of delegates who voted, bringing the total votes cast to 484, which gives him 51%, an argument that disregard the rules of the party's constitution, Kavari says. Kavari says Kavekotora and Kennedy Shekupakela have been imposing themselves on the party as president and vice president respectively since the June party elections. Kavari stood as vice president and was nominated from the floor at the conference. Kave Kotora and his group's claim to the leadership of the party is now seen as being in contempt of the RDP constitution and therefore constitutes gross misconduct. In a media statement, the group also claims, in addition to the inclusive presidential vote, the registration of delegates was not adequately processed, while the acting president of the RDP, who is also the chairman of the Third National Convention, Steve Bezedenot, unceremoniously abandoned the convention. The group further says no signature of voters was taken in order to verify the validity of ballots. The RDP's constitution, the group asserts, provides that where three or more candidates contesting for the same position and therefore the winner should have secured over 50 percent of the total votes cast, a rerun of the election should take place. Contacted for comment, Kave Kotora questions why the group waited for three months to dispute his victory. Kave Kotora was adamant that he was democratically elected and that the RDP under his leadership would not entertain any rerun. Daniel Nadunyan Bissinis, Bentuk.